One of the great traditions of the Letters and Science Commencement is that we open up the program to the reflection, wisdom, and often the, the students of some of the, the humor of some of the students that are graduating today. So this year we have three students that are going to speak to you. Uh, our student speakers every year are selected based on their academic achievement and their contributions to the CS community. However, they also have to pass through a rigorous audition in front of the staff of the Student Affairs Council. So the winners this year, uh, Minhaj Khan, Ian Ornstein, and Molly Nicholas. Minhaj will speak to us first. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've come up here to share a few words with you today, but before I begin, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my parents in the audience. Today, May 21st, 2014, also happens to be my, 20, uh, my parents' 25th wedding anniversary. coming out on their special day for our special day. So thank you all for giving them a warm hand. Thank you so much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, fellow family and friends, and our esteemed new graduates of the class of 2014. There comes a time in every student's life when he or she asks themselves, what should I do with my life? To those of us in the audience who chose the tumultuous path of studying the science of computers, let me be honest and tell you, congratulations, you made the right choice. Whether you're going into the path of starting your own startup, or working for another company, or going to graduate school, I hope you'll be pleased to find a wealthy and successful career ahead of you. I commend you on the hours and nights spent coding operating systems projects, or studying for our esteemed Professor Hilfinger's exams, which allowed us to come so far to where we are today. But more importantly, the truth of the matter is, as students of computer science, it's our ability to think on a technical plane prying open code or situations in life layer by layer, and analyzing them rationally, which is the source of our sense of belief and confidence in ourselves, allowing us to take on challenges in a specific niche of life that sets us apart. To the outside world, soon we may just be desk workers, with the opportunity to often work from home and sometimes we get the office on Fridays, of course. But on the inside, we know that we have taken a challenge which requires a certain kind of perspective a certain kind of diligence, and a certain kind of mental framework to overcome. And sometimes even change the world. A challenge which very few of us dare to tackle. Even so, we aren't just students of a specific department, but the product of the pristine education of the University of California at Berkeley, which has shaped us to who we are today. A smart guy named Albert Einstein once said, education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Truly, the character and personality we've developed, the connections and friendships we've made, the life lessons we've learned, and memorable experiences we've had are going to define our education here at the number one public university in the world. Long after you've forgotten Bayes' algorithms from artificial intelligence, or the difference between a 32-bit and 64-bit IP packet from networking class, these values and memories will remain for a lifetime. Graduating class of 2014 and students of computer science, I salute you for your hard work and resilience. See you on the other side. Yeah. 